What's up guys? So today I've got a little video for you. We are going to be talking about how to upgrade your Pawn's Rapier and how to get some of the other dark equipment. So before we get into all everything, let's start with the basics. There are currently three items you can upgrade. Pawn's Rapier, John's Battle Axe, and the Prototype Cloak. All three of these items can be found in the Donator Store as well as various boxes such as the Group Loot Chest or Mystery Box. In order to upgrade these three items, you are going to need a schematic that requires 92 invention. So if you do not have 92 invention, start grinding that out right away. So you have Pond's Rapier and you want to get started. How do I upgrade my Rapier? First thing you're going to do is come to Colon Colon Invention. And if you trade Old Axe Assistant, you can purchase an experimental orb. This costs 5 mil coins and this will teleport you to experiments. Now, if you don't have five mil or you want to just go a different route, you can purchase the Book of Inventions, which you're going to need later, so it's worth doing. Purchase the Book of Inventions from the Adventure Point Shop for 5,000 Adventure Points. Adventure Points are a pretty common currency. You can get them from killing any monster in the game. The higher the combat, the more uh, points you'll get. You can get them from other various ways, such as opening group loot chests, logging in every single day. If you have 92 Invention, you probably have enough Adventure Points to get this Book of Inventions. So if you create from the book, you can uh, make an experimental orb for molten glass and 10,000 crystals, uh, 10,000 crystal components. Uh, and then you can also upgrade the orb to experimental orb number two, which requires one of the orbs and 100,000 crystals. So in order to kill experiment number ones, all you're going to want to do is gear up in your best melee gear. They don't hit too much, so it might bring some a little bit of food, a little bit of prayer potions. You're not going to take too much damage. But the one thing you do need is a mirror shield. So if you come over to the Slayer Equipment Shop, you need a mirror shield. You also need the defensive stats and the Slayer requirement to wield it. I believe it's 40. Um, but you need a mirror shield to damage experiments one. So if we go in there, I'll give you a look at what the area looks like. So you can see it is just the normal experiments level 25. They're not going to damage you much. What you're going to do is settle down and kill a good chunk of these. You're looking for these items. So if we look at the drop table, you need dark energy, you need a dark stone, and you need schematic right half. So uh, the main thing you need is schematic right half, and then you can move to experiment number twos. In order to make any dark weapon, you need five dark stones and 25 dark energy. So. Uh, you're going to collect all the dark energy and dark stones you can get along the way, but all you need to move to the next room is the schematic right half. Once you have that, you can move to the next room, which is the experiment number two, which the only way to get that is through this invention schematic option right here. But before you teleport to experiment number twos, you need a leaf-bladed weapon. So this could be the leaf-bladed spear, the leaf-bladed sword, the leaf-bladed battle axe. If you're a ranger, you can use leaf-bladed bolts. Or you can use the upgraded Titan's Hosta. This is the upgraded Hosta that you get from the starter set. It requires the Agile achievement, which is to do 50 laps of Priftidus Agility Course. So we'll teleport in. This is what the area looks like. These things hit much harder, so you definitely want to bring a full inventory of prayer pots. And uh, this is uh, an example of a player right here doing it. So yeah, they definitely hit. You're going to want to bring full prayer pots. And hopefully you can get the uh, schematic piece in your first trip. So if we look at their drop table, it is very similar. You have the schematic left half. Then you have dark stones and dark energy. So all you really need from here is the schematic left half. You need both schematic halves to make the dark weapon the schematic. And then once again, in order to make any item, you need 5 dark stones and 25 dark energy. All right, so let's say we're, we we finished it. We have our dark weapons schematic right here. We have five dark stones, but we do not have enough dark energy, and we don't want to go kill those for just dark energy. There is one way you can get dark energy pretty quickly. Go to the training zone, Colon Colon Train, and if you do not have any elven gold, start killing the bears. Start with the big mini bear because it, it's guaranteed to give you 250 at least every single kill. But start killing bears until you have a nice chunk of elven gold, and you can purchase light energy from the elven gold shop it's very inexpensive let me uh, get you the price on that 75 per and then if you have the book of inventions you can do the light energy transmute which is 100,000 corrupt 5,000 rare per five light energy so we need to do that one more time so we get enough boom now we have 25 dark energy so this is what the actual schematic looks like. It needs to be fixed because it kind of cuts off. But you can see you have Juggernaut, which requires Pawn's Rapier, 5 Dark Stones, 25 Dark Energy, and 1 million Dark Components. I don't know if I mentioned the Dark Components. You do need 1 million Dark Components. 
So if we, uh, right here as he goes to John's bundle hunter, we need one million dark components to do this. Oh, what do I do to get those components? Well, there are two options. Well, there's multiple options, but there's two options we're gonna look at. <laughs> if you have donated at least $100 and are a Ruby donator, you can go to the donator zone and purchase Black Lotus from the uh, Ruby shop. Black Lotus, it costs 30, uh, 3.5 mil and and when you disassemble it, you are guaranteed at least 12,250. So we actually only got 18 more components than normal. That is really unlucky. But you're at least guaranteed that base amount. So that is a nice way for those people to grind out dark components. But what if you are not a high tier donator? What can you do? Well, it is unfortunately a worse option, but it is an option you can do right now to upgrade your weapon. If you come to the home location and find Twiggy O'Corn, you can purchase Dark Light. This costs 150,000 coins, and it also, uh, if you don't equip it, disassembles for dark components. This is at a worse rate, and it is a slower process than if you were just a donator, but it is an option you can do right now for essentially free, other than the cash to grind it. So once you have all of the components, all you have to do is click the schematic, click your option, and bake it. All right, with that, we should have ourselves enough components. Ghost Hunter Battle Axe. Boom, there we go, upgraded. There we have a nice upgraded weapon. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below.